Hello everyone, my name is Ali Garib. I am an educational technologist, an English language instructor, and a PhD candidate in the Applied Linguistics and Technology program at Iowa State University. For my dissertation research, I am designing a teacher training program to help English language teachers in the Middle East and North Africa use technology-assisted project-based language learning in their teaching practices. In this tutorial, I will show you the WebFX Readability Test Tool for measuring readability of texts you are considering using in your English language classroom. This is a free tool for determining the difficulty level of a text. Before we start, I'm going to choose a text from Project Gutenberg. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to choose Chapter 1 of a famous American book, Moby Dick by Herman Melville. Now, Let's navigate to the WebFX Readability Test Tool and explore our options. First, you'll notice that we have several choices for how to put the text into the tool. We can enter a URL. We can test by direct input, which means copying and pasting a text into the tool. Or we can test by refer, which is for authors of websites and is not relevant to our needs at this time. So we will not review that aspect of this tool. Before we start measuring the readability, you need to familiarize yourself with the types of measures. At the bottom of the page, you'll see a section that explains which tool is the best, who it is for, and what it does. Read these explanations first before you input your text. That information can also be extremely useful to you as you go about determining how to interpret your results. This tutorial will show you how to use the test by URL and the test by direct input. We're going to start with the test by direct input. First, navigate back to Project Gutenberg and find the page with chapter one. Select as much of chapter one as you want or more. Copy that and go back to the readability test tool. Then, we're going to enter or paste what we copied and click readability. Now, when we scroll down, we can see the test results you'll notice that several different measures of readability appear, including Flesh Kincaid, Gunning Fog, Smog, and Coleman Lau indices. You may or may not be familiar with these measures for readability. If you're not familiar, you might want to take a few minutes to read about them on Wikipedia so that you can understand exactly what kind of information they provide and how their algorithms work. Below those specific indices, you'll see some more general information about the number of sentences, words, and syllables. Each teaching context is different, so we can't tell you exactly which type is best for your needs. The best way is to educate yourself before you try to interpret any of the results. Let's go back and try the URL method. To use a web address, all we need to do is copy it from the URL bar. Instead of copying and pasting the text, we're going to paste the web address and then we'll do the same thing. Click Calculate Readability and you will get some results. Here we can see a summary of the test results, which says it should be easily understood by 13 to 14 year olds. It's important to remember that many of these readability measures were designed for American contexts. So if some of them don't quite make sense to you, that's fine, just choose a different one. I hope this demonstration gives you some ideas about how to use WebFX. My colleague Fabriana Lastari will show you another readability tool in the next video.